Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the official match card for Hell in a Cell. This Sunday, live at 3 o'clock p.m., will be the Raw exclusive pay per view Hell in a Cell. Today, we're going to be going over the entire match card ahead of the historic pay per view. I hope you're ready for some hell. We're gonna kick things off a hell in a cell with the Alexa Bliss Open Invitational. We found out that this is gonna be a fatal, a, a triple threat match as on Monday Night Raw, Bianca Belair came out and confronted Alexa Bliss and said that she wants an opportunity at the Raw Women's Championship as well. Alexa Bliss accepted, and now we're gonna be getting a triple threat match for the Raw. For, for, for the right to become number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship after Survivor Series. It is Bliss, Bianca Belair, and the newly traded superstar from WWE SmackDown Live, Becky Lynch, who will become number one contender for the Raw Women's Championship. We'll find out at Hell in a Cell. Then we're gonna have, then we're gonna have the, the, the Raw Women's Championship matchup between Naomi and Charlotte Flair. These two men will go blow, go to blows in a steel cage. These two women will go to blows in a steel cage at Hell in a Cell. We're guaranteed a winner as the winner of this matchup will represent Monday Night Raw at WWE Survivor Series. Charlotte has said that Naomi is a is a like literally a flu of a ch a fluke of a champion, and Charlotte said that she could easily be champion in Naomi's place, and she said she will prove that at Hell in a Cell when she wins. The Raw Women's Championship. What she gotta do in the steel cage. Then, the most anticipated match of the night. Fatal 4-Way. Universal Championship number one contenders match. The returning Samuel Lewis. The, the, man, the man that was traded from SmackDown Live and made his debut a couple weeks ago. Bobby Roode. Drew McIntyre. And Braun Strowman. The winner of this matchup will become number one contender for the Universal Championship and fight whoever the Universal Champion is after Survivor Series on a Raw after Survivor Series. Lewis is coming in confident, but he's got to take on, you can say, a friend and Drew McIntyre, who wish bo who wish both of them are in the NWO. It's going to add an extra added a flu, an element on this matchup. As they're going to have to be enemies. And this will be a fatal four-way Hell in a Cell match. The walls will confine all through four of these women. Of all four of these men. So, we'll see what happens at Hell in a Cell. Then, the European Championship is on the line. Dolph Ziggler takes on KJ Jones. A matchup that has been built off of Dolph Ziggler saying that a, that uh, KJ Jones is a fluke of a champion and has no business being in WWE. KJ is looking to prove Ziggler wrong after Ziggler said that KJ is a copycat and said that he could easily beat him anytime. Well, Ziggler, Ziggler said he wants to, he wants, um, well, um, I'm sorry. Well, KJ said he wants to prove Dolph Ziggler wrong tonight, uh, tonight at Hell in a Cell. And this will be a Hell in a Cell matchup as well for the European Championship. This has combustible written all over it. Then we take a break from the, the, Raw, from the Hell in a Cell matches as we have a Fatal 4-Way Ladder Tag Team matchup for the Raw Tag Team Championships. The Hardy Boys have preached that they wanted competition over the past couple couple weeks. Will they get their competition that they want for the Raw Tag Team Championships? 
as the Hardy Boys defended against Heavy Machinery, American Alpha, and Titus Worldwide. All three of these tag teams have won qualifying matches over the past couple weeks to take on the champions at Hell in a Cell. This has combustible written all over it. I don't know if I could pick a vic I don't know if I could pick a victory. Victor. A victor in this match. Glorious right. Cause you're gonna have to pull off a miracle to win this fatal four-way ladder match. Good luck, Hardy Boys, defending those tag team titles. But you have done it before in the past. Then the hit the, the clash that everybody's been waiting for. The massive co-main event of the evening. Samoa Joe versus Brock Lester, the final chapter. No Paul Heyman at ringside. Lester has to go at it alone to get back his United States Championship. This, this feud has been going on since SummerSlam when Lester shocked the world when he became the, Euro, the United States Champion. But he didn't hold it long after, after, after as at Clash of Champions, Samoa Joe took it right back for him. This is the final chapter. They're gonna be locked inside Hell on the Cell. One more time, we get Lester and Joe, who will walk out the United States Champion and represent Monday Night Raw at Survivor Series as the US Champion. We'll find out at Hell in a Cell. Then, your main event of the evening. Triple Threat Universal Championship Hell in a Cell again AJ Styles Seth Rollins Shinsuke Nakamura Universal title on the line AJ is trying to finish down the Triple Threat once again And head to Survivor Series to take on his good friend um, Finn Balor for the, In the Raw vs Smackdown match Well where he just to do that. He got to take on the man that has that has beaten him in one-on-one -on -one competition. Uh, Seth Rollins. And his former rival, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura got to this matchup because he's getting a rematch from SummerSlam. After, after, Seth, after AJ Styles had the controversy when he had low blowed and, and put the chair shot to the head to become the first ever Universal Champion. Well, after, after that happened, Nakamura came back on the Raw after Clash of Champions and said that he wants his Universal Championship rematch. Looking different and sounding different. Rollins got to the match because he beat Seth, because he beat AJ Styles on the third, the third week Raw on the road to Clash of Champions and did not get his opportunity at Clash of Champions as it was already filled already. So he got his opportunity at WWE. Then he got his opportunity at WWE Hell in a Cell. He's getting it inside hell. This is going to be awesome. And this has combustible written all over it as well. That is the Hell in a Cell match card, ladies and gentlemen. It will be streamed tomorrow night. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. My time, ladies and gentlemen. That's 4 o'clock Eastern time. And 1 p.m. West Coast time. I hope to see you guys, all of you guys there and join me and the Big Easy for Hell and a Cell. See you guys in New Orleans.